binding an XREF. When we bind an XREF, what we're going to do is we're going to take it from being an XREF and we're going to place it inside of our host file. So we're basically inserting it into our host file. This is going to make our host file massively bigger. But typically this is done when we have a client who does not know how to use X references. Uh, the book will say that uh, it's for uh, printing services uh, as well. But nowadays printing services tend to use Adobe PDFs. So we're going to go up into our external references and we pick on an X reference file and we right click and we say bind. When we bind it, it'll go right into our drawing. It'll take it out of the external file and place it right inside this this file. So if we were sending this to a client, we'd have to bind all three of our uh, X references files and we'd place all this data into one file so that they could handle it all in one file. They wouldn't have to worry about any pass or anything like that. Uh, it's not one of my favorite things to do. Um, this is a last resort in my mind. Um, I would rather educate the user a little bit about X references if that's possible. Um, if it's not, then I would use the bind command.